for me, it's a case of what I can do, not what I can't do. You've got to have a, a positive attitude to life and um, don't worry about the negatives. We initially set off about six o'clock and we soon found out that the conditions had changed vastly so we had to change the plan and ended up on a short loop circuit which is 1.7 miles in distance and just continued to do loops throughout the day and evening until we finished. I started off with just shorter events like 10Ks, half marathons, I moved up onto marathons and I found them not particularly easy but I stepped up then to ultra marathons. I would describe it as probably the hardest challenge I've ever done. Steve is part of the AFPST. Uh, we have 10 members with us as well and a couple of support people and throughout the day people have taken time to join in laps, provide him with food, transport people back and forward. It's been a full-on team effort to, to ensure that Steve is able to achieve his goal of 100 kilometres in one day. I sort of bitten off a bit more than I could chew yesterday, I think. Uh, the conditions weren't good. It was howling wind, it was heavy rain, it was freezing cold, slush. It was pretty much four seasons in one day. While I'm doing these events, um, I'm also raising money for wounded veterans. Um, having seen firsthand some of the horrific injuries that some of the guys um, receive, it, it just gives me a motivation to, to want to help. Um, and I got down to the last 10 laps and I was counting them down each one. The pain was incredible, but I just blocked it out. You really do want to stop and that's when you've really got to dig deep mentally. Last lap. Two and a half K, 97 and a half K done. Happy days. It's incredible. It's just a, a brutally horrible challenge. Um, everyone's in awe of the massive achievement that he's, he's done in 16 and a half hours. All done and dusted. Yeah, buddy. Oh, e euphoric, emotional, that was tough. Uh, exhausted. Oh, but so many feelings, um, but I, I was uh, very proud of myself.